This is a post-war song. We do it for shock and awe effect. We doubt very seriously that even Robert E. Lee would have agreed with the sentiments in this song. The song was written by a Major Innes Randolph in 1866, and it's about the nastiest, evilest description of the union that was ever put to paper. We perform this for educational purposes only. <laughs> The current establishment does not necessarily subscribe to the content of these books. I don't think we did this earlier, but I must, I must put out what we call the, politi the politically incorrect disclaimer. In the mid-19th century, or the whole mid-19th, the whole 19th century, Reconstruction. Reconstruction period, there was no such thing as PC. Uh, you were allowed to speak your mind and suffer the consequences. Nowadays it ain't so. So we still have to deal with this issue because a lot of this material that we play is politically incorrect by today's standards. Thank God. <laughs> all right, all right. Our aim is to educate people into the ways and means of this music, the artistry of the music, to keep this music alive, not because of its content, but because of what it means to our historical background. Our heritage. So if anybody gets offended, we're sorry. We didn't mean, we didn't come here to offend anybody. But if you do get offended, feel free to leave. There's doors everywhere. Constitutional protection against being offended. The song is called Oh, I'm a Good Old Rebel. Come on, guys. Cheer up. I'm, tr I'm trying to entertain you. Yeah. 
States of America, where you can sing a song like that, you make you criticize, but you ain't breaking the law. <laughs> <laughs>